I know you want to see me go home alone. I'm done with And this hurts so bad I can't breathe on my, my been dying and they gonna keep dying. The police been firing and they gonna keep firing. The government been lying and they gonna keep lying. Propaganda news channels, that shit is all for show. Camera phone videos is like all we know. Diluting what the eyewitness might really say because the whole world saw a murder yesterday. Now your account ain't what it used to be. According to them, your eyes can't adjust to the violence that you used to see. Police brutality is all in your mind, and the tactics that they use only look worse and rewind. People die every day, you should get used to it. Hands behind your back, face down, they still say, you shoot. Can't breathe, knee where your neck be like, why you moving? Kids in your car headed home like what you doing? Like why you chilling? F your feelings. Why you smiling when I'm so serious? I hate patrolling your space. Like why you living? Stop asking questions. Why you filming? You look suspicious. I think you dealing. Step out the court. Fit the description. Someone I feel. I need to kill him. Blood on the curb. I need to spill him. Another civilian. Another not guilty. Another t-shirt. Another rap lyric. Another life gone. I can't forgive it. <laughs> silence becomes betrayal what's up people I know we run a little late tonight and I was at my uh, therapist for this sciatic condition that I'm uh, I'm dealing with but I wanted to make sure I get at you tonight and uh, we did this show just something that's been uh, weighing on my mind hopefully everything Looks clear on the screen. I'm testing new software where there was an update to the software I normally use. Uh, and we're just going to go with it and, and see what it gives us tonight. Uh, I tested a little bit last night. So hopefully everything I tested went okay. The name of the show tonight is called The, the Black Out. And it's basically saying, are, are we in or are we out? We got this election going on. You got all these people out here talking about Trump can change the country. And, and, and this is just the amazing thing for, for me with black people that have integrated so much into the system. And we're Republicans and Trump will be, will be the best thing because he'll take away these programs and you'll be forced to uh, stand on your feet and do this and do this and do this. Where'd that work at? So you expect people that are struggling to try to get somewhere. Once you take away additional things, now they're going to get somewhere. Where's the knowledge in that? Also, where's the knowledge in, in these people that have been so integrated into society that you have no compassion or you just don't want to open your eyes because... Look, I, I went to school, I graduated, I got my, my degrees, and, uh, and now I'm good where I'm at. I like Massa. I like the way he controls my life. 
how he tells me when and where and 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 my life is great forget everybody else but as we spoke before you can't forget everybody else because you're not tied to these white people you're tied to black people and you're probably going to have way more interaction with black people unless you're clarence thomas than white folks and your kids are going to probably have more interaction with black folks so when you get into this this habit of thinking you're separate i want you to take a look at the slave ship because we all tied together by the color of the skin it just becomes disturbing sometime and i get up and go to a, a office every day but guaranteed i'm i'm planning and saving and and trying to grow my business and and hopefully once it's grown black people will support it just like I support everyone that I know has a business. I put your advertising out for free. I'm going to start doing a uh, a business night where uh, either that person who has a business can uh, Skype in and pre present their business or, you know, come on over. And uh, we'll, we'll do it from there. If you're interested in doing your own show, hit us up at the show 1965 at yahoo.com. Let us know. So the, the clip you saw in the beginning, uh, I watched the uh, the Hip Hop Awards on Sunday and Big Crit had did that uh, piece. I heard him do it before, but he, he did it on the show. And, and it said so, so much from the perspective of the officer, the crooked officer, and how they view us. And it's not so much the way they view us, it's, 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 it's the way we view ourselves. We all know the game. Here's the game in America. First of all, nothing was ever promised to you, nigga, if you get anything, be grateful. You ever notice you can't have those real discussions with a lot of your white people because they don't want to have that discussion. Once they know who you really are, it's going to get real difficult. Oh, Richard said black people can't be racist. Richard said white people have been conditioned to ignore the blight of black people. They don't realize it. White man told me, hey, but what about... uh?" Them, you guys shooting up each other in your neighborhood. I said, what about you guys shooting up each other in the neighborhood? What about you guys going to school and killing 30 kids? What about you guys going to the movie theaters and shooting up 30 and 40 people? It's not black on black crime. It's crime. So, you know, let's, let's not play that tiff attack game. The, 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 the situation is what the situation is. Wouldn't be a problem if society believed in fair treatment for everybody. So we get up and we go to work and, and we pay these taxes to be mistreated by the police officers. To be mistreated by the judge, uh, the judgment system. And everybody is up in arms because Obama uh, gave clemency to, what, 250 people that have been sitting in jail since the 90s. Under rules and regulations that have been put in place to imprison black men and black women. Sitting in jail for... 17, 18 years because you sold a little dope when we don't own boats or anything. So we want the ones floating that shit in here and you making deals with those governments where all this drugs and stuff come from. See, the, the game is twisted. Now, hey, some people get out there, they keep their head down and they, and they stay focused on the mission. If your mission is to go and make some money and, and, and shut the hell up, and go to your church and, and, and put a few dollars in the tab and, and maybe volunteer for some programs. Great. Everybody's going to do something different in the program. But the problem is, ain't nobody speaking up. Shit is shit. And, and we got to demand more. These payoffs are, are, are just that. I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. How they so willing, uh, James Baldwin said, if, if we can pay you off, then we don't have to worry about how you feel. That's a cold statement. 
And so when they said, oh, yeah, okay, sure, you can integrate in this world. We're going to give you a little money, uh, give you a little better housing. Uh, you know, uh, forget those Negroes that are in the underclass because uh, we're going to help them through social programs, which we're going to rate first, and then we're going to give to the black people, and then we're going to blame the black people for abusing the programs. And you, 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 you smart niggers, uh, you know, you, you'll back us up and you'll say, yeah, you're lazy and shiftless, and uh, I came from that same place and I made it. Why, why haven't you made it? It's all types of reasons. I myself, shocked that I am where I'm at. All the racist bull crap that I've seen in the educational system, in the justice system, in the family services system. And you just got to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. I can't believe there was racism in the school. Really? Maybe because when they talk to you, they made sure that you got everything you needed to get your education. Even if you were behind ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. do not worry about it, Wendy. You're going back to class. You're going to get your education. In my case, uh, you owe us money or you out of here. We don't care that we made a, a mistake with paperwork or anything like that. Uh, nigga, you're irresponsible. You trying to tell us that you're not irresponsible? That you put your, your stuff in on time? Oh, and now you called us out on what we just did for Wendy? And see, that's the thing you, you, you're going to learn. You're going to learn quick if you hope to be in corporate America. You can't call these people out. What's that joke they said on in Living Color? White people like to be right even when they wrong. I see it every fucking day. Every fucking day. It's like running a race and winning. And then somebody comes with a straight face and says, your shoes weren't tied, so you're a loser. It's ridiculous. And the problem is we don't have an inf infrastructure to, to give each other a, a, an honest chance in America. I, I know back in the 20s and 30s and, and all that, there were communities that were trying to be uplifted. And then the good old white people came in and destroyed them. Huh. Black Wall Street and all that. Just, nigga, you're just not going to get away from us. You're not going to establish yourself like that. No, uh, we're going to say that you are a terrorist, Black Panthers. You're, you're a terrorist, Malcolm. You're a terrorist, Martin. You're a communist, Martin. You're cheating on your wife, uh, Mega Everest. You know, this, this voting shit, it's, it's got to stop. Did your granddaddy vote? No, then you can't vote. Oh, that's, what's that, the poll tax thing or whatever that was called? So, so constantly. And then you got all these leaders that sold out and said, yeah, we're going to take these positions and we're not going to help our people and we're going to sell out and live in our homes and our mansions. And, and then we may get caught up and we'll go do a little time. But now we've created ghettos. So it's, it's funny how you look around Chicago now and you're looking and you're saying, wow, these same places I grew up in. How, how they're being revitalized now, how 47th Street is being re revitalized to Rosenwald, how 39th Street is being revitalized, how I walked every day through Ida B. Wells and Lawless Gardens and uh, the Washington Park homes, El Rookin' Fort, and you saw the devastation of poverty, but now you got a Mariana sitting right there on 39th and King Drive. You've got condos and everything, and the lakefront has been built up. This is the way the system works. I don't, I don't understand how people are, are so confused on how the system works. It's only designed for a few people to, to, to win. So it's kind of like going to a casino. Somebody's got to win so we can keep selling the dream. We got teachers going on strike. We don't value our teachers enough. Then you tell us you're, you're raising the taxes uh, for the teachers fund. And then the teacher said, we're not getting any money. You're closing 50 schools and then opening up one school. But the, most of the schools you closed were black low income schools. And you open up a school in the Hispanic neighborhood. 
Okay, you threw us a bone, you gave us diet back. So when, when you create all this poverty, it becomes an economic problem. Poverty is an economic problem with social ramifications. So you got all these people together, everybody's struggling. So that's why you got a dude out there selling cigarettes. That's why you got a dude out there selling DVDs. Somebody says, well, why, why are they out there selling that? Maybe because they made mistakes in their life. And then if you're a black man in America, you're going to pay for your mistakes way more than a white man. Period. You ain't got to believe it. Look up the justice system. Look at some cases. You'll be amazed. So you're, you're a felon. That's it for you. Prisons aren't about rehabilitation no more. They're about money. You got boards putting money into jails. Some of the biggest corporations, we did a show on it. Corporations for profit, prisons for profit. So they're making money. We, we, we don't need to rehabilitate nobody. We're already doing social programs to see who is most likely going to be going to jail. It's most likely Ray Ray from an impoverished neighborhood. I'm talking to an attorney today. And she says, I don't know how we have such great schools in our area. My kids go to a public school. Meaning free. And she says, this school is so well funded. So am I living in a different fucking world? That she's living in a neighborhood and that school is so well funded. But we got teachers all on TV about to go on strike. We better wake up. And, and you know, this, this ain't a, uh, a, a prayer show. We got time for prayer and I, and I love Jesus and we're going to pray. And, and prayer is a call to action. And, and, and Jesus take the wheel. We got to really start thinking about the future of black people in America. Obama's leaving the office. And beside those clemencies and some uh, an Affordable Care Act, what have we got? This has been the worst eight, eight years of my life. Because it really brought out who America really is. Donald Trump is representing who America really is. No matter that the unemployment rate dropped again, that the Dow is at its highest point, he has wrecked America. We want to go back to when it was great. And people out there cheering for this bull crap. Donald Trump's a racist. Period. He doesn't talk to black people. He's trying to make his political stance the blacks. Anytime you hear somebody say the blacks, that's a racist bastard. There's no programs that he has that are going to support what we're trying to do. Pence also. Yeah, he looked good and polished on TV. But he's from the the state of the Ku Klux Klan, Indiana. So none of these people are, are trying to help you this is a capitalist society and in the capitalist society money rules everything around you that's why i respect the rappers so much because a lot of them even though they're being used by the system to a a point and wasting money i I wish they wouldn't waste money as much as they do but some of them are out here trying to do something snoop got the godfather award or something but at least he's giving back to the community by trying to help some dudes go to school. At least Puffy's out there trying to take that money and do something positive. We need that type of behavior from all the athletes. We need to start encouraging all our kids to go to HBCUs instead of all these big universities and watch how that money changes and flows. Then you got to worry about no handout because when they want them slaves off that football field, off that basketball court, and they all sitting on HBCU campuses, Watch how the money switches and flows and then it won't be no problem with how much money these schools need to survive. So the TV time and everything comes. We got to change the mindset. It even said it in the Willie Lynch letters. 
it would take a paradigm shift in thinking to right the ship that we came over here on. Yeah, so maybe I'm ranting a little bit tonight. I'm just sick and tired of the the nonsense on a daily basis of watching the news. You know, wondering about a future. I'm 50 some years old. I'm still trying to get ahead at 50. 51, I'll be 52 in like six months or so. And then you got to wonder about your kids. How are your kids going to survive when we keep putting them in this system and telling them to do the same things that got us where we are today? I, I don't sit, feel successful because I got a good job and I got a house and own some properties and got a business. White man, you're not going to tell me this is success when you're still out here acting a fool and, and I should be more successful than I am. But messing with you, my success is always limited to what you say, what you think, what you want to do. That's bull. It's sickening. Haven't done the murder count in a while. It's 551 and we just started October. Like I said earlier, we're definitely going to see 600 this year. What are we going to do, people? What are we going to do? Stand up and put our fist up or make some real change. I like that a lot of people are, are, are stepping up and speaking out and, and hopefully this whole movement will continue and more people will stand up and say, to, to hell with that. I'm just at that point in my life, I you know, we, we all trying to get that freedom paper. And that's all it is and that's how we gotta raise our kids. Go to school to get this education to do something for your people as well as yourself. It's a wild concept. Love, peace, soul. We out of here. Black folk been dying and they gonna keep dying. The police been firing and they gonna keep firing. The government been lying and they gonna keep lying. Propaganda news channels, that shit is all for show. Camera phone videos is like all we know. Diluting what the eyewitness might really say because the whole world saw a murder yesterday. Now you accounting what it used to be. According to them, your eyes can't adjust to the violence that you used to see. Police brutality is all in your mind and the tactics that they use only look worse and rewind. People die every day, you should get used to it. Hands behind your back, face down, they still say, you shoot. Can't breathe, knee where your neck be like why you moving. Kids in your car headed home like what you doing. Like, why you chilling? F*** your feelings. Why you smiling when I'm so serious? I hate patrolling your space. Like, why you living? Stop asking questions. Why you filming? You look suspicious. I think you dealing. Step about the court. Fit the description. Someone I feel, I need to kill him. Blood on the curb, I need to spill him. Another civilian, another not guilty. Another t-shirt, another rap lyric. Another life gone, I can't forgive it.